Hi, my name is Ian Anderson and I'm an Apple Certified Trainer. Motion stabilization can help to salvage an otherwise unusable shot that's just too shaky. SmoothCam is built into Final Cut Pro, but since you have to analyze the entire source clip in a slow process, it's often not practical. We'll be using Lock and Load, which only analyzes the portion of the clip in use between in and out instead of the whole clip. It tracks quickly and intelligently ignores foreground motion, so if something passes in front of your main subject, you shouldn't have a problem. Let's start with this footage shot from the back of a Jeep with rotational wobble and severe shake. Drop the Lock and Load X plugin on the clip in the timeline and press Track Motion. Because Lock and Load looks at a little more footage than is currently used, you can add transitions later and usually avoid retracking. Before rendering, you can see that the results are pretty good. If you have many clips to analyze, choose Track Motion in all of them and keep working in Final Cut. Stabilized footage has visible black areas around the edges of the clip, but zooming hides them. Change parameters here to choose what kind of zoom you'd like to see and how strong you'd like it to be. There's a trade-off here. Heavily smooth motion in the final video means higher zoom and a softer image. If you're targeting SD, you may be able to keep minor black margins outside the action safe area. If you're targeting HD or the web, you might have to eliminate black margins entirely. Either way, Smart Zoom will apply the lowest zoom possible within the parameters you set. You can see the degree of zoom as the clip plays down here. If needed, you can adjust horizontal, vertical, rotation and zoom compensation separately. If you need maximum control, govern zoom manually by using fixed zoom. Another option for limiting the stabilization applied is to animate the strength property. For example, if a shot is interrupted by a quick pan, which you don't need to stabilize, then you could animate the property down as the panning begins and up as it finishes. Here, I found a spot just before the pan and created a keyframe. Now, I'll press shift right to move forward a second in time, then change strength to zero. Move forward until the end of the pan, then create another keyframe at zero on strength. Now, press shift right once more, then set strength to one. Another important feature is that you can simulate different kinds of camera movements. You can smooth the shot or you can lock it down completely to simulate the use of a tripod. It's also possible to deal with multiple shots in one source clip by choosing the Smooth Multi-Shot option. CoreMelt provides two versions of Lock and Load for different kinds of projects. Lock and Load X is faster to analyze in most cases, but on very complex projects, you may need to use Lock and Load frames. Please read the documentation for full details on when to use each plugin. If you have any trouble, please ask us for help on our forums. Thank you.